final. Yeah, well, two of them had to do it, in, uh, and that was uh, Victoria Wolfart and uh, and um, Teresa and and um, uh, Fizzer Teresa Fizzer over. Yes, but so we're underway now in the final. The first paddle is on the course. It is Landon Tunison from the Netherlands falling away there yeah. after a good top half. Yeah, we were saying it. There's no easing into this race. There's also no easing out of it. It's up there and uh, to be competing amongst the best. Cami present well. Yes, our lone French in the in the final today. Under 23 world champion. Uh, so unfortunately there for Cami present, but it's the start of a very long season, and, and I'm sure she'll just take this in her stride. Yeah, she still, you know, very young, but um, gets faster every time, and tied for that European Championship with Stephanie Horn, who is the last paddler on the course. That's right. We'll see if their rivalry continues today. It's in the line and it goes the wrong way. Well. Yep. At least you gave it your all. So, yep. so unfortunately for but Aliska Mintelova, she yeah. is not going to finish on the podium today. Very focused. Yes, I, I saw her walking up as well. She laser focus, and hopefully that translates into some paddling that that shows it. So she's going to be well inside that, but she'll be a little bit disappointed. She's thrown away a little bit of uh, opportunity there. Yeah. 107, lowest bet reach from the Canadian canoe slalom team, and we are now at uh, almost at the halfway stage. This is our fourth, fifth paddler on the water. This is Victoria Wolfart, who did it hard to get into the semi finals, had to do two runs, but then came out and nailed the semi uh, earlier this afternoon. And well, this is wide open for her now. She can really make a statement here today. We're going well under that if she can hold her race together at the back half. She's well, she's had that review. Ooh. Sliding out yeah. a bit on that spin, but catching that second wave, it's a better option than paddling all the way back up to the first one. Good news for her. The, the uh, review has been in her favour, so she's had the two seconds removed. So now, all of a sudden, her time's looking pretty good. Yeah, she's looking at a clean run if she can hold it together for the last four gates. And, uh, yes, so she's looking at going just over the 100 at the moment. Oh, yep. Oh, she's gone a bit low there, but she's back up again. So she'll go just over there. I think she will be uh, be our new leader, but the question will be by how much. Because she's got to go under 105, and she's going to do that, I think. Just, oh, no, she just was a bit slow. Oh, she's still under. Yeah. Well done. Well Good. done to uh, Victoria Wolfart. She will be our leader at the halfway stage. Yeah, Claudia will be kicking herself for those touches. <laughs> it's good to see. Good to see some competitive racing to start off the season. Despite the touches and, and penalties, it's it's not it's not due to a lack of ability from these athletes. Back half of the final. What do we think? What do we think, Lois? Edge of our seats with Monica starting her run. I think here's one of a one of the the next any of the next five athletes can disrupt this current podium. They really can. And we'll see a little sprint from her here. She'll yep. give it her all. She's pushing. She crosses the line now, 110, 111. So into third position there for Monica Doria Villarubla with three gate touches. But this young lady, we're talking about Lois, somebody going 100 or sub 100. Yeah, if anybody's going to do it, it's going to be, well, it, it might be Elena. <laughs> I mean, she knows this course back to front. She's fast, she's strong, and she's got home support. Yeah, and she's done these first five gates both in C1 and K1 and in K1 in the in the semi-final as well. So she's practiced this the first sequence of five gates multiple times. And that Looks was flawless. Fast. That was Going really down. nice. She is almost flying above the water at the moment. And look at that. She's already 0.5 of a second in front of the split time. No touch there. That's, uh, she can get through that troublesome part there. The uh, first nine gates, if you can get through there clean, you've got a launching pad for a great final run. Absolutely. Starting with almost with a clean slate halfway is, is not what most of these girls have been able to do. So. Here comes the bell. That's the fan, that's the home fans ringing the bell saying, get out there and give us your all, Elena Lewick. And look at her time. 1.64 seconds inside Victoria yeah. Wolfart's time at the moment. She is putting on a show for the home crowd. I hope she can hold it together because it'd be very cool for them to have a medal or two with the Germans at home. Just a little bit stuck there on that gate, just trying to get out of it. Didn't lose a lot of time, but just maybe half a second, which she'll now need to try and make up. 
but yeah. she's still going to. Don't gonna think it phased her too badly. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's still going to cross. This is going to be our new. Wow, look at that Almost now. Four she's. Seconds. Could she go to the? Could she go under a hundred? It's going to be very close. She's a little bit stuck there, but she's out of it now. It's going to be very, very close. We could have our first sub 100 of the day. Here we go with the last sprint. It right. is pretty far to that finish line, but oh. oh, just over, just over in the end. But look at that. She knows she's put down a good time. She knows she's put down a good time. She knows now that that's the time that people are going to have to beat. Absolutely. And she's she is very happy with that, as she should be. Father. Uh, and uh, yeah, really puts in a bad run. Now, Teresa Fizzer over. What can she bring to the table? We mentioned before she prefers the canoe, but since coming across to the kayak, well, she hasn't put it up yet, so maybe the judges didn't see it. That's okay, we won't mention it. Oh, they're reviewing it now. Sorry, Teresa, that was my fault. Uh, but she crosses the line now, and uh, fourth, what colour will it be? That's right. I think she'll be very happy to start the season with a World Cup medal. What can Ricardo Funk bring? We know, we know how fast she is. She's the Olympic champion, she's the world champion. She brought the house down last year. Yeah, that's a tricky upstream. I don't think that that's too bad, um, given the other... Yeah, here, she's still in touch. She's still ahead on the split. The oh. oh, no, no, what's and happened here? And that's the gold. What's happened here? She's gone deep and she's blown it. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And look at the... That is a big effort for her to get back, but that is your gold medal gone in your locker because 106 you has got to go under. I don't think she's going to do it. So that is disappointing. Off the podium for Ricarda Funk. Yeah, and the field at the World Cup is too competitive for a mistake like that to hold a top place, which as it should be. So. so Stephanie Horn, could she find herself back on top of a World Cup podium? We shall see. Oh, no, we won't. Uh, unless she can do something very special, that is a two-second penalty, and uh, that is going to be very hard for her. However, we're looking at Claudia Zwolinska currently in third with two touches. She, she'll, she'll be giving it. Um, she doesn't always necessarily look super smooth or necessarily look super fast, but she puts down very competitive times with, with the style that is particular to her. So. so Stephanie Horn from Italy, she's the last paddler on the course. Opting for the S option, which I'm not sure if we saw... I can't remember now. A few of the men did it. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. yeah. But, uh, so definitely out of the running for a gold, you would think. But look, she could still challenge for a bronze, even for, maybe even, even a silver. silver if she, but she's going to have to pull. 106. She's, 106, she's got to go under. That is the time of Victoria Wolfart, who's sitting in the silver medal position at the moment. I think she's Let's, going to be very close. She's going to go wow. under it, I think. There we yes, go, into she second is. place. Wow. Her she helmet's be, still skewed. Really, really nice run together. She stayed clean. I think that was key to the gold today. How does it feel? Um, it feels amazing because it's at home and I had such a good run and yeah, I'm happy. I had like a feeling back in Augsburg 2022 at the Worlds because of all the fans cheering and everything and yes. That's really good. I'm sure it was really great to win at home. How does that, is that cool? Yeah, it's my first gold World Cup medal and it feels crazy and I'm so happy that I can celebrate it with my family. Awesome, congratulations. Thank you. Well, wow, yeah, and we thank you to Sophie Arenesso down there in our, in our um, mixed zone. Just lovely to tap in and get the feeling. You could see the emotion, couldn't you, for, 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 the, for the winner, for Eleanor there. You could see what it meant to her. Yeah, she's a, she's a smiley person.